Ready? Okay, let's set the scene. March 2024. The tech world, already buzzing, gets hit with a bombshell. A new AI, Devin, from Cognition Labs, wasn't just another coding assistant. Oh no. This AI, they claimed, was the world's first true AI software engineer. It wasn't here to help developers, it was here to replace them. All of them. Imagine that. An entire profession, millions of jobs, supposedly rendered obsolete overnight by a piece of code. The hype was instantaneous. It was a tidal wave. Within weeks, Cognition Labs, a startup barely old enough to have its own coffee machine, wasn't just making headlines, they were swimming in venture capital. They secured $175 million, catapulting their valuation to an eye-watering $2 billion. Some whispered this was just a stepping stone, the real ambition, a potential market in the tens of billions. Was Devon AI a glimpse of the future, or was it one of the most sophisticated, high-stakes tech bluffs the world has ever seen? A potential $20 billion mirage built on little more than smoke and mirrors. To get our heads around this, we need to first appreciate the sheer scale of what Cognition Labs promised. This wasn't just an upgrade to existing tools. GitHub Copilot, for example, helps developers write about 30% of their code costing a mere $10 a month. Useful, yes, revolutionary? Maybe in its own way, but Devin was pitched as the endgame, the world's first complete AI engineer. It wasn't just a smart assistant, it was your new AI colleague, ready to take on entire software projects from a vague idea to a fully deployed application. Complex debugging? Devin's got it. Learning unfamiliar tech stacks on the fly? Supposedly, a piece of cake. The promotional videos were slick, persuasive. They showed Devin dancing through coding challenges, solving problems in minutes that would leave human engineers scratching their heads for days. The message was clear. The future of software development had arrived, and it was autonomous. Investors, still reeling from having missed the early boat on OpenAI, and terrified of letting another potential unicorn slip through their fingers, were practically throwing money at Cognition Labs. The fear of missing out, FOMO, was at an all-time high. But the internet, as it always does, started to ask questions. Internet of Bugs dedicated three weeks to a forensic, frame-by-frame -frame deconstruction of Cognition's promotional materials. And what they unearthed wasn't just optimistic marketing gloss. It was, according to their detailed investigation, a series of carefully orchestrated deceptions designed to inflate Devon's capabilities. Let's start with those mind-blowing live coding demos. Internet of Bugs alleged that these were less live and more creatively assembled. In one sequence, Devon appears to debug a complex piece of code in what seems like minutes. However, a closer look at timestamps, a digital breadcrumb trail, supposedly revealed unexplained gaps, some as long as 47 minutes, hidden between the cuts. The channel went further, overlaying the promotional video with git commit timestamps, those indelible records developers create when they save their work, a fix that Devon appeared to make in a swift 10 minutes. The git history, they claimed, showed it actually took over four hours, likely with significant human intervention. That's not just a slight exaggeration, that's a different reality. The claim that really set the tech world on fire was the debunking of the Upwork earnings. Cognition Labs had showcased Devon supposedly landing a freelance gig on Upwork, a popular platform for hiring independent contractors. Devon completed the task, they implied, and earned $150. This was presented as concrete proof that AI could not only write code but also generate income, competing directly with human freelancers. Internet of Bugs, however, wasn't content with the surface story. They did the journalistic legwork, tracking down the actual Upwork job posting, and crucially, the client's feedback on Devon's submission. The reality, as they presented it, was starkly different. Devon's work was reportedly rejected. The client, in their feedback, allegedly noted that the submitted code appeared to be AI-generated and, more importantly, didn't meet basic requirements. That $150 paycheck that was meant to herald the dawn of AI freelancers According to the investigation, it never materialized. The task itself was described as relatively straightforward, setting up a computer vision model on AWS. The solution, the investigation pointed out, was allegedly contained in a single line of instructions within the project's readme file. The frame-by-frame -frame analysis didn't stop there. The channel also pointed to alleged moments of human intervention during these autonomous coding sessions. Subtle mouse movements, keyboard shortcuts that an AI like Devon wouldn't typically use, even, they claimed, a fleeting reflection of a human coder in a darkened IDE window. All these tiny details, when pieced together, painted a picture of significant human assistance, propping up Devon's supposed autonomy. Beyond the demos, let's talk about Devon's actual performance metrics, specifically the much-touted 13.86% success rate on the SWE Bench benchmark. Cognition Labs presented this as revolutionary, but critics, including those analyzing the benchmark's fine print, argued this figure was heavily cherry-picked. 
Out of 570 coding tasks in the benchmark, Devon allegedly failed every single one, 95 in total, that required changes across multiple files. It also reportedly couldn't handle 230 tasks that needed more than just 15 lines of new code. The only tasks it consistently managed? Simple, single file changes. The kind of work that developers already accomplish with free tools, or that existing, far less hyped AI assistants like GitHub Copilot handle routinely. That revolutionary 13.86% wasn't a breakthrough, it was basic functionality dressed up as innovation. And the technical incompetence wasn't confined to benchmarks. Anecdotal evidence and deeper dives into its supposed problem-solving approaches revealed a pattern of inefficiency and a fundamental lack of understanding of software development best practices. During a memory leak investigation, it supposedly rewrote entire systems and added layers of needless complexity, all while completely missing an obvious bug in a simple loop that a human developer spotted and fixed in five minutes. Now, let's talk about the money, because this is where the scam aspect really comes into focus. That Upwork task a human developer did for about $30 in 36 minutes. Devon took over six hours, failed, and in doing so consumed significant computational resources, costing far more. So if the product was so flawed, how did a company built on this shaky foundation manage to raise $175 million and achieve a $2 billion valuation, with whispers of a $20 billion potential if the dream was sold right? This is where we enter the fascinating and often terrifying world of venture capital psychology in the age of AI fever. In 2024, VCs were operating in the long shadow of OpenAI's meteoric success. ChatGPT had transformed from a billion-dollar curiosity into a $90 billion behemoth in just two years. Every venture capitalist who had passed on OpenAI's early funding rounds was now haunted by that missed opportunity, desperately searching for the next ChatGPT. This created an environment of intense FOMO, fear of missing out, where investors were, by some accounts, throwing money at almost anything with AI in its pitch deck. Cognition Labs crafted their pitch to perfectly exploit this investor mindset. Devon wasn't just another coding assistant. It was, and this was their killer tagline, the world's first complete AI engineer. This wasn't just a catchy phrase. It was a calculated move to tap into the tech industry's single biggest pain point, the colossal cost of engineering talent. Their claim that Devon could slash 100-person engineering teams down to just 10 promised to solve the industry's most expensive problem. With average software engineer salaries hovering around $150,000 annually, this implied potential savings of $13.5 million per company per year. That's a number that makes VCs sit up and listen. The market math they likely presented was equally seductive. The global software development market was valued at around $500 billion. Capturing even a tiny 1% slice of that pie would mean $5 billion in annual revenue. And in the frothy AI market, companies were being valued at multiples of 12 times revenue, compared to the more traditional three times for conventional software companies. Do that math. $5 billion in revenue at a 12x multiple justifies a 60 billion valuation. Suddenly, Devon's initial $2 billion valuation, or even an imagined $20 billion future, didn't seem outlandish. It seemed almost conservative if you believed the premise. This valuation logic was playing out across the entire AI sector. Character AI, a company with relatively basic chatbot technology, reached a $1 billion valuation with minimal revenue. Anthropic secured $4 billion for its AI model, Claude, despite many seeing its improvements over existing models as marginal. Traditional due diligence processes, which normally involve weeks of painstaking technical evaluation, were reportedly compressed, or in some cases, ignored entirely. One anonymous VC partner, admitted that after missing OpenAI, firms were so terrified of being left out again that basic questions about product viability were overshadowed by the overwhelming fear of missing the next rocket ship. For developers watching this saga unfold, the lessons were stark and somewhat depressing. It seemed that technical excellence and a genuinely working product often mattered far less than slick marketing and the ability to secure funding. Yet, the saga of Devon AI didn't just fade into a cautionary footnote. In April 2025, Cognition Labs doubled down, unveiling Devon 2.0, a shiny new version they swore would silence the skeptics and finally deliver on that lofty AI engineer promise. They rolled out a slick, agent-native IDE for seamless human-AI collaboration, tossed in interactive planning for smarter task breakdowns, and added Devon Wiki for automatic documentation that sounded like a dream for any dev team drowning in outdated readmes. Oh, and the kicker? They slashed the price to a jaw-dropping $20 a month, a far cry from whatever they were charging before, practically begging the world to give it another shot. So, was Devon AI a deliberate, calculated $20 billion scam? 
Or was it a case of a massively overhyped product, born from genuine, if misguided, ambition that got swept up in an irrational investor frenzy? The truth, as always, is probably somewhere in the messy middle. But the gap between the billions in valuation and the reported reality of the product's capabilities is, to say the least, monumental. It's a cautionary tale for the age of AI, a stark reminder that when the hype outpaces reality by such a vast margin, someone eventually is going to get burned. And in the world of high-stakes tech investment, those burns can be worth billions.